resultant force it is generally known as a single force system So it is a single force system which will produce the same effect on the body as the number of different forces would have produced if they are acting simultaneously. In other words, if we say that if a number of forces are acting on a particular body which are replaced by a single force which has similar effect as that of the forces together then that single force is generally called a resultant force now from the basic definition of that uh, resultant force it is understood that it is a single force that is a equivalent force to the other many number of forces or we can say that the resultant force replaces the number of forces if we take a simple example of a block so this is a one block with some weight and that block will be pushes by a three number of boys by applying some force that is b1 b2 and b3 in this particular direction and that block will displace in this direction so there are different and total three number of forces with combined magnitude in the same direction that is applicable on this block and that block will displaced with some delta displacement if we take a similar block now instead of these three boys any man can displace this block with applying a similar force and that force we called a resultant force and that will also give a similar deflection so then the force so the force that is applied by a man is called a resultant force and that is equal to the force applied by those three boys so we can write r is equal to b1 plus b2 plus b3 generally a resultant that is uh, denoted by a capital r and it is tends to displace the body now the process of finding out the resultant force of a given number of force system that is generally called a composition of forces or maybe a compounding of forces now here there is a one term that is also very much important to understand that is a uh, equilibrium now if a single force that is acting as a resultant 
and if we see the opposite side of that and there will be another force that is acting exactly to the opposite to the resultant in a opposite direction that uh, will stabilize this system that is generally known as a equilibrium and this equilibrium is generally denoted as a capital E and uh, it keeps the body in rest condition now if we look at to the different type of methods for finding out the resultant forces so there are many methods of finding out the resultant force of a number of given forces but following are very much important from the subject point of view so there are two categories so in that we have category number one is analytical methods now in analytical methods we have total three number of methods so number one that is law of parallelogram of forces and that basically used for two force system second method that is law of triangle of forces and that is using with cosine and sine rules and it is also used for two number of forces or we can say two number of force system or we can say system that is of two forces and the third system if we talk about that is a method of resolution of forces that method is used for more than three number of forces now if we see a second category so that category is basically of a graphical method so in this first category you can uh, calculate or you can find out the resultant of the given force system using the mathematical equations but here in graphical method you have to draw a proper scale diagram to sort out the resultant of given force system now in this we have another three category so number one is force triangle and that is used for two forces 
number two is force polygon that is used for more than two forces and the method number three that is the vector method now to find out uh, resultant of a given force system we have to understand the generally what is the resultant of the force then composition of forces and the compounding of forces also a very important term that is the equilibrium and to find out this resultant there are various methods analytical methods as well as the graphical methods in analytical we have a law of parallelogram of forces then law of triangle of forces then we can also sort out that resultant with method of resolution of forces and in graphical method we have a force triangle force polygon and the vector method by using this methodology we can find out the resultant of given force system now this is all about resultant force